there, all of our devices are absolutely going nuts in there. We are getting the craziest responses, uh, poltergeist activity, bangs, knocks, all sorts of crazy stuff. Is that you making yourself known? Oh, there we go. Okay. There it is, there it is. I just saw the red light go off. Yep. There it is, yep. there it there's is. something there. Oh, wow. Martha, was that you? <laughs> Are those your initials? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Why do you want me in the hallway? What the hell was that? Touch you! I feel like something's touching my back as we speak. What the hell? Something literally just tightened this cord around my neck. I don't even know which freaking door that was. Dude, that was like two or three times. I'm pleased to announce we have a special sponsor for today's video called ExpressVPN. Sending data over an unencrypted internet connection is like sending an open letter without an envelope to someone else. Imagine all those nosy people who can just read everything that you've written on that letter. A service like ExpressVPN can help prevent that from happening by creating a secure tunnel between your device and the internet. In other words, it essentially puts that letter in an envelope for you so that way the rest of the world cannot see what's written on there. Another great feature I like is that it gives you unrestricted access to the internet. For example, let's say I'm back home in Canada and I want to see what's on Netflix USA. I turn on my ExpressVPN service and boom, I can access everything available on Netflix USA. Maybe now I can go and watch Titanic for the 1,000th time. So now you might be wondering why ExpressVPN? Well, ExpressVPN only invests in the fastest servers available, making them the best in the business. Not only that, but they also have 24-7 support, and you can even chat pretty much instantly right on their website. It's extremely easy and simple to use, and it is a top-rated VPN service. To get ExpressVPN, check out the link in my description below or in the pinned comment comment and if you sign up today they'll give you three months for free so what are you waiting for get ExpressVPN today now back to the video all right so I've changed the battery We're help back. and he's back in there All sorted. Please. Please what? My back. Your back? How can I help you in your back? S closer. Hurt. What hurt you or who hurt you? S strangle, I think. So somebody hurt you. Oh, it's getting loud again. Help me. That was a woman's voice. What's your name? And why do you need help? Bottle. Bottle. What about a bottle? Something's happening. That's what it said. Move. Where it just said my name and then it said hi something but I couldn't make up the name. Come. Play us. F. F for Frank. Can you make any of the REM pods go there. off? There. There's something. You can say it. What do you want me to say? Come on. I'm waiting. You make another big bang? Or make that vent open and close. Someone. Someone who?
come back. Touch you. That's funny. I feel like something's touching my back as we speak. What the hell? Uh, what the f Dude. Okay, something's like touching my back. Okay, you said touch and something's touching my back. Okay. Um, What's wrong with you? Something literally just tightened this cord around my neck. What the f Okay. I think we should stop with that right now. Yeah, I think we're done with that I think for you're... now. Um, what the f Dude, it literally, now. dude, I've never had that happen before. Oh yeah, you're all red what here too. What is that? I don't know, you're all red though. It literally, like, I felt it like, tighten. It almost looks like there's hands that were around your neck. Really? Yeah, there's, there's a mark here, here, It said and here. strangle, right? You, yeah. What the? What the? Hang on, let me see the other side of your neck. I don't know. Calm no. down. Nothing. So it's just so on it, this it, side? So it's almost like somebody went like this. Ooh. We'll do that again, maybe. Yeah, like no. that. But no, seriously, that was the. Yeah, well, seriously, the marks are there. Like, you can see it on camera. Okay. Um, that wasn't. Of you. Like, I don't understand. What, now all of a sudden you want to go off? Who did that? Okay. Are you in here? Maybe you're in here? Turn off the brightness here a bit. Who just tried to strangle me? Do you hear that? Yeah, I do. After you said touch, something grabbed my shirt from behind me. I don't know if like you noticed. Like tugged it? Yeah, like, like. I saw you turn. Like that. What the hell is that noise? I don't know. Okay, something's moving in here. Yeah. We're not even like remote. Yeah, no, we're no, we're nowhere near that. Like, like there's there's no way. What did you not like the fact that we left the hallway? Why did you want us in the hallway in the first place? And weird enough, that's when you said you got the most like voices right. in action. So. Dude, it just like it was dead in there. I mean, I had it on an FM first, went to AM, still wasn't getting much. In here, it picked up. Uh, it quieted down kind of in the cell and then I came out here. It started picking up as soon as I got there It was just like it was hard to make out. Well quieted down for yeah. you. I got the crap it, scared it, out of me with the freaking It bangs. was like Just like 50 people at one time all having a conversation simultaneously What the hell man? I, don't know. I just really didn't like that though. Is it is the mark still there? It, I, yeah, kind of. Let me see if I can turn down the light here so we can get a better better look. But yeah, you can even see like some swollen spots. Oh. What the hell? Well, that's good. Right here. Yeah. Right here. Right here. It's almost like somebody was like... That's weird. Yeah. And it literally said strangle too. That's the scary part. Where are you? Come on. Tell us where you are. It's so weird how it's only on one side. Like... Yeah. What the hell? It's like it doesn't want to make any of the devices go off all of a sudden. Yeah, and everything was going off right? before. Like, okay, so, that one did go off. So but. we haven't done anything to that REM Happened pod. here. Happened here. <laughs> um, we haven't changed the batteries. Nothing. Um, we thought maybe it was faulty, and I said, you know what, just leave the battery in. And, and if it doesn't it. do anything, then obviously there's nothing wrong with it. So should we put it back in there and... I mean, we can try it and see if it need help. does anything. You almost made Angelo need help. Never mind. Yeah, for real. <laughs> so yeah, if it was a battery issue or something weird, like that thing would not. What about here for like a minute? Like, let's try it. Let's try and see. Look, different... it's not going off. You're right beside yeah. it. It's not going off. So how it doesn't I make. Don't... 
soon as you said that. <laughs> <laughs> but you weren't wow. beside it either. <laughs> Can you do that again? Or both at the same time? That'd be cool. Why don't you move something again? Clearly for some reason you either like or very much dislike that thing. You want some more pickles? You got more pickles. How about some, maybe some smokes? Guaranteed you guys like smokes or girls, guys and girls, because there's both of you here. Okay. I don't know, I don't know what the deal is with that thing. What the hell? It's like it doesn't want me to like leave the hallway for some reason. I don't know. Can I like leave the hallway? Please and thank you. Y'all? <laughs> oh, was that you? My, my hat. Jeez, I heard a noise. I'm like, what the hell was that? <laughs> uh, okay, let's try this again. What the hell? Okay. Dude, we are leaving so the hallway weird. for a minute. Let's see if we can replicate this a little. Okay. There we that, go. That was okay. so fast. Right? Okay. So there's somebody here. That much we know. This this spot is super active. Wow. Um, and it doesn't feel malicious. If there's something dangerous in this jail with us right now, make oh, wow. the other REM pod in the hallway go off. Whoa. Or make this one stop. It's just weird how the one next to it's not doing anything. Yeah, I don't understand. I don't understand either. But it, it wasn't doing anything. No, it there. wasn't doing a single thing. We've had it in two different spots now. <laughs> and it's... if there was some sort of interference, that other one would go off. 100% the other one would go off. Yeah, I don't, uh... <laughs> and the K2's on the floor there, so if there was any EM... There you go. Stuck on green all of a sudden? I don't know. Weird. Can you make that stop, please? Completely? What if, what if we leave the hallway? Okay, well, let's get out of the hallway then. Nothing. <laughs> Weird. Ow. Dang it. Okay. Um, well, that's cool. We're going to probably head downstairs and do some investigating down there. Wow, that thing. I don't know what's going on with that thing tonight, but uh, yeah, we'll test some of this stuff out down there. I feel really weird up here. I feel like I'm getting like confused uh, for okay. some reason. I don't know. There's just like, like disoriented. A, yeah, like yeah. a weird like brain fog, which is kind of why I want to head downstairs. That was a little traumatizing to say the least. Yeah. Um, you got touched. I felt something pull that cord. And all back to back. Yeah. Like, yeah that was, was back all, to back. All. I wish there was a camera facing my back so you guys could have seen that. Yeah, I know for real. Okay, we're gonna head downstairs. I'm gonna just turn this stupid thing off. Um. But it wasn't doing anything anywhere else. Yeah, I don't know why it's doing that. All right, well. I have no idea, but we'll see you guys downstairs. All right, so um, we started out upstairs tonight. This is probably part two of this series. Still at the jail, and uh, basically what I'm thinking is both Frank and I are gonna split up. Frank's gonna take the first floor, I'm gonna take the second floor. Oh, look, a little, another little duck. And, oh. Uh, they're just everywhere, these little things. It's mm, so funny. It's so weird. But uh, yeah, so basically what we're going to do is I'm going to have all of the stuff kind of down here because we already know they're all going off like crazy upstairs. The other thing is we're trying to figure out where to put all like the REM pods and whatnot. And this one. Watch so for, this. Yeah, definitely watch this. And for those of you who don't know what a REM pod is, 
It's similar to an EMF meter, right? So if I could pull the EMF meter, it's in your pocket. There you are. So what an EMF meter does is it detects when something is giving off an EMF frequency. Now, often enough, cell phones will do that. I think Depending, if you send a message or receive. Yeah. So if you're like, if it's not doing anything, it's okay, usually, there you go. yeah, there now it's going off, but it's like directly next to it. So if I take my phone away, it shouldn't do anything. Right. Until I oh, go yeah. right next to it. But that's literally how close it needs to be to be able to do that. Um, now what a REM pod does, the concept of that is that it's emitting an EMF frequency. And when the EMF frequency is broken, which this is on like this, Okay, maybe it's not on. Like this, it'll go off. But you have to break the EMF frequency, right? Now the weird thing is that thing was going crazy upstairs. Yeah. Especially in that one cell block. We moved it into the hallway, it would periodically go off, mostly when we were leaving the hallway as if they didn't want us to leave. Um, so I don't know, we've been testing it out clearly. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly the thing is not malfunctioning. And before you were like four or five feet away. Yeah, like, I mean, we walked into that room and it was, wasn't doing anything. And clearly it's not doing anything now. Like, I'm hitting the desk. Okay, that, See how hard I have to hit the desk just yeah. to be able to make it go off? So I don't know, I can't figure out why it was going crazy upstairs. And it wasn't the battery because we had already changed the battery and yeah. it was still doing the same thing. To me, that's that's evidence. Right. So there is something very, very strong up there. Hence the reason why our host, Deborah, who is currently at home chilling out, <laughs> um, doesn't like going up there by herself because she knows there's something crazy up there. And I mean, I mean the place was a prison or jail, whatever. Um, but yeah, so basically what this first floor was used for I don't want to go into everything in super high detail, but, uh, and the reason why is because I've been here before. And if you want all the details, just go back to my old video, <coughs> excuse me. Um, so basically what this first floor was used for is pretty obvious. It was the warden's area. So you have the warden's office, you have the warden's bedroom, and then there's two areas over here. We have the, don't forget the REM pods there on the floor. Yeah. We have the, check-in or intake area where obviously they would have brought the prisoners in um i've never really experienced anything in this area except for when we heard okay oh that's the cat oh my god okay. scared the crap out of me <laughs> uh <laughs> what the hell oh hi <laughs> are you trying to come in Okay, well, we're busy. You can come after, though. Um, <laughs> that's so funny. He probably heard us. Yeah. All of a sudden, we've become best friends with this cat in the past, like, two to three hours that we've been here. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so the first time I was here, I think it was the second part or third part. I don't remember. I, I did a lot of parts on this place because it was just so active. Um, so, first, I heard someone singing while I was standing right pretty much where Frank is right now. And then the second time, I heard an identical voice that was singing. It sounded like it was coming from the second floor. Lamar was off into the other prison block, which is the more modern block, which we will get to at some point. Um, and yeah, I was literally standing right here. I'm like, what the hell is that? And then apart from that, we have one more room. And I'm putting the REM pod here again because the first time I was here, this REM pod would go off in this one area. I don't know. I don't know what it is with doorways. I have this concept about doorways and spirits. And portals. And I, and... Yeah, I feel like a doorway is some sort of, like you said, like a, almost like a portal. Or it's like they're kind of stuck, like they're coming and going or don't know whether they're coming and going or something like that. I don't know. I've, I've always found weird experiences with doorways. But what this room was essentially used for, it's pretty cool looking. Um, <clears throat> Basically, it was like a hangout. So the guards would hang out here, um, you know, drink, smoke, play, play card cards, games, yeah. um, and just basically, you know, wait for their shift to be over and go home, pretty much. Um, but yeah, I'd be in, I'd be curious if Frank maybe makes communication with the warden down here, and then 
I'm gonna be upstairs with just night vision and we'll see if either of us managed to capture anything. I mean, this place is old. It's from 1885. So there's been a lot of people that have come and gone out of this place. I have no doubts I'm gonna contact something because oh, like it's just sure. been nonstop. For sure, it's been nonstop. I don't know if this floor might be a little bit lighter tonight. I have no idea. We don't know what's gonna happen in this, in this next part of this series, but we're damn well gonna try and see what it is that we find. But, uh, yeah. Are you ready? Uh, do I have a choice? I mean, well, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do this. <laughs> All right, guys. So, uh, Frank is going to be investigating down here, and I'm going to be heading upstairs. So, um, yeah, except I'm going in lights out, which is a little spooky. So <laughs> I mean, I could go lights out, but it's pointless. What the hell was that? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> well, this uh, is a great start to the solos. <laughs> yeah, that uh, was definitely something weird. What the hell? What was that, though? I don't know. What, what the hell? How'd that What's happen? So I turned on the night vision. Somehow it turned itself off. That was oh. interesting. Okay. What the? Was that the ceiling? I don't know. Could have been. Maybe? I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Okay, well, uh... I'm gonna close the door behind me. Yeah, wish me luck. And, uh... Wish me luck, fun. wish me luck. Yell out if uh, you need anything. Ah! Uh, ah! I also forgot the EMF meter, so... Oh. Let me just grab that real quick. Yeah. I think I'm gonna start off in the far room. Sure. Yeah, I think I'm gonna start off in the far room. And, uh... So I'm going to get started in here. So this was like the hangout, uh, as Angela has explained, where they used to play cards and drink. And uh, yeah, so we have a cap ball there. Let me just make sure it's on. Yep, it's on. Okay, good. Put this in the middle of the table. Why? Because, just because. Okay. Time to head on up. I'm just going to turn my trusty O-Light on for a second so I can actually see and not die going up these bloody stairs. <laughs> okay. We have officially made it up. We are going to be in total darkness unless I panic and of course decide I'm gonna turn on the flashlight for one reason or another. Okay. That got really blurry there for a second, but uh, there we go. Here goes nothing, I suppose. Okay, let's see here. Let's just try not to walk into any cell doors. Okay, um, so I do have a couple of things kind of scattered through. I do have the loud REM pod up here. It is. Uh, currently in the woman's cell on the table. And I'm gonna try and wake, make my way into here. Let me just turn the light on for a sec, just so I don't walk into this damn door. I do have the uh, paranormal script, got a cat ball. I'm going a little light on this one. Um, let's just put that here. Ooh, that was me. So, is there anybody up here that wants to communicate with me. You seem to have made your presence known earlier and then uh, you kind of went a little quiet there for a little bit. I got this device in my hand that you can use to communicate with me. You can use your words. I can't remember if I put this into alphabet mode or if I put it into uh, word mode. For a second. I'm in one of your jail cells. Do you want to uh, talk to me? I should also. I should get the spirit talker going as well. Apparently, I can't speak tonight. <laughs> is what it is. Okay, let's uh, put this here for a second. Uh, we've got the REM pod there. 
Um, and yeah, so we are going to try and uh, communicate with somebody. Please do not touch the walls in this room. I wonder why. Oh, it's probably because it's all just chipping away anyway. So look at this old phone. Wow. That's cool. I'm really curious about what's in that chest. I might open that chest. I do not like that mirror. It looks like it has like fingerprints all over it. Look at that. It's like streaks of, I don't know, almost like claws. Right there. It looks like claws right there. It's, well, I don't know. I like mirrors in here. Oh, there's another mirror there. Oh, great. It's behind that. I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to go on with the spirit talker. Uh, see how this goes. <clears throat> Let's see if we can communicate with the warden. Uh, take a seat over here and see what happens. <sighs> Got the REM pod and the music box, etc. Uh, hello, warden. If you're uh, here, I'd like to have a conversation with you. There is a uh, device in the doorway. If you just pass over it or touch it, it'll go off and let me know that you're here. Oh, I forgot to turn up my volume. And it says violet. Huh. Okay. Violet, were you potentially one of the prisoners here? Prisoner. Wow, prisoner. So you were one of the prisoners. What were you here for? Do you think you could do something to let me know that you're here? Make a bang, a knock? Maybe rock the rocking chair? Ooh, it just got really cold. That's interesting. Violet, are you still here with me? Head. Head. Okay. Not sure what that means. Are you going to touch me in the head? Stay and talk. Wow. This is very interesting responses. I would like to stay and talk. That's what I'm here for. What would you like to talk about? These responses are pretty bang on. Why don't you come take a seat with me at the table or sit on the rocking chair? That'd be cool. Just rock it back and forth and let me know that you're here. I could have almost sworn I seen it slightly move. Is it freaking moving? Guys, let me know if you can see it slightly moving. I don't know if it was my eyes playing tricks on me, but I could have sworn it just rocked a little bit. Like ever so slightly. Violet, are you in the rocking chair? said you wanted me to stay and talk. I really could have sworn I seen that thing slightly move, guys. I mean, I don't know if it was... Six. Oh, God, I hate the number six. 
six watt. What does six mean? <clears throat> it's not the first time tonight we got six. If there's some oh, f me. Conjure, great. It's not something I want to hear. <sighs> Get the oh crap, I didn't even bring my phone up with me. Okay, well I guess not. No speak spirit talker, I suppose. So we just got that. I've uh, been getting some accuracy with this device lately. Sometimes it works really well, sometimes you don't get too much. I mean the same thing with the spirit talker, sometimes it's very inaccurate and it just seems like jumbled up words or not really much to go off of. Can you make your presence known up here? Nothing yet. Sometimes you gotta have a little patience. What the hell was that? Hello? I swear it sounded like something moved in here. Okay. Whoa, what the f Yo, something just moved my freaking tripod. What was that? Okay. That was weird. It was like my tripod, like one of the legs somehow popped itself out. Unless I had my finger over it, but I don't think I did. That was really weird. Okay. Seems like the spirits really like to mess with us in here. Violet, if you're here, can you go in the doorway, please? Like right in, right at the doorway? What is yours? I'm not trying to take anything or claim anything. I just simply want to talk. Is there anything you want to tell me? Maybe a message? Oh god, I'm right in front of another mirror. Mirrors everywhere is such a bad spot to be. Oh, I don't like being in here. Especially not in front of all the mirrors. The mirrors reflecting at everything over here. It's not a good thing. It creates a portal. And set conjure on this thing. All right, so we're gonna make our way into the hallway. Maybe uh, go see something else. Gordon, are you here? I'd really like to uh, have a conversation. I'm gonna take a seat in your office here. I hope you don't mind. Another old phone. Ooh, this chair is not not stable. Okay. Oh, gotta make sure I don't lean on it. Cody. I really I'm like. I'm a friend. You're a friend. Good. I'm very happy you're a friend. I hope you're not a fake friend. What the hell? Thought I'd just seen a shadow over here. Let me know in the comments if you guys seen it too. Okay, I'm standing right in the middle of the cell block. You go to the other side. Can you make a sound? Can you knock on something?
You told us earlier to listen for you. Are you on the other side? You want me to come over there? It's interesting too because last time we were here, I think we were getting more activity on the woman's side than on this side. And now all of a sudden, it's like pretty balanced, relatively neutral. Okay, what if I come into your cell over here? I'm gonna come in. Do you wanna sing for me like last time? Seems pretty quiet. Let me try going into the uh, middle of the hallway here. What about over here? Is there anybody in here? Somebody want to maybe move this thing again? You did that last time. I'm waiting for you to do it again. Maybe. What is that noise? It sounds like something's walking around. That is just creepy. <laughs> Who's walking around up here? I can hear you. Whoa. I don't know if I just rubbed my arm on that, but it felt like something touched me. <laughs> uh, okay. Are you in there? Is that where you are? What is that? Okay. Something is seriously touching me over here. What the hell? That's so weird. Who's doing that? If you're in the woman's cell, make a sound, a knock, tap, anything. This whole place is just super spooky. Puts you on edge. <sighs> what is that? Here's something. I just I think it's coming from here. I honestly can't tell. Are you back there? Or maybe you're in here? Heavy frickin' door. Okay, I'm gonna come into the uh, cell now. Oh man. Holy shit. What the? Wait, what the hell? What was that? Mandy. Mandy. Okay, Mandy. Before I had Violet here, I'm trying to get a hold of the warden, but. Doesn't seem like the warden's here right now. What the hell? What the f What the hell? Oh, that scared me. 
I just heard the REM pod go off upstairs. Somebody back there? Holy sh! What the? F what the fuck was that? Holy crap! Yo, what the hell was that? Holy shit! Hey, are you okay? Yeah. What the hell was that? Uh. I want to say the cell door? I don't know which one, but... Holy f that was loud. Well, that like shook the building. <sighs> you right? Yeah, yeah, I'm good, I'm good. Holy moly. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> what the hell? Dude. Oh, my God. Pretty sure that wasn't here. I mean, it had to be. It oh man. Whew. That's got me off. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. Holy. F what the actual heck was that? Which? I don't even know which freaking door that was. Dude, that was like two or three times. What the fuck? Okay, it can't be this one, because this one doesn't have a door. But there's three options up here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Holy. Okay. Well, thanks for uh, giving me a near heart attack. Oh. Whew. Oh my gosh. That was a bit much. That was definitely a bit much. <sighs> Holy f Holy crap. That was insane. That was insane. What did they say while I was out? Late. Yeah, it's late. What the hell? That was freaky as all hell. Is that moving? I swear I just seen it rocking slightly again. I'm trying to catch it. I hope you guys can see. Whoa. Okay. Okay. That Please leave here. I won't be here too much longer. Um Are you not okay with me being here? Dude. So um, I thought I seen the rocking chair slightly move like a good three times. Really? I, I, tr I had the camera pointed at it and I even seen it with my own eyes slightly moving, like ever so slightly. Okay. Uh, shortly after we just heard all that, I came here and I thought it seen, I thought at the corner of my eye slightly seen it moving. So I went like this mm -hmm. and crouched down and then the REM pod started going off. Okay. And it said, please leave here. Oh, okay. Granddad. Granddad? That's interesting. That is weird. Uh, so, that REM pod only has not gone off this whole time until yeah. I came here to see if that chair was rocking. Oh, that's interesting. You saw it, did you, like... I even had the camera pointed at it, but, like, it was it? so slight. Like, yeah. I, I could have seen, I seen it just ever so slightly Ooh, with my it, eyes, and I mentioned it. Okay, come in this room for a second. It's cold, right? Yeah, I was I, that's why I left just the room. about to say that. I left the room already and said that it was cold. Uh, okay. That's exactly why I had left because I don't know if you noticed, but there's three mirrors in here. Oh, yeah. Why? 
right? Why, why would you do that? <laughs> so, I mean, you already know that can create a portal that can, yeah, yeah. That's just some bad juju. Uh, yeah. That was, uh, interesting up there. That was like, that terrified me from here. I can only imagine what you I felt. don't even know which one it was. I was on the other side, like kind of in that hallway. Cause yeah. I heard something like move back there. And then all of a sudden I'm hearing that. And the problem is, is that the other side has three cell doors. So I don't even know which one it was. Right. And I didn't have another camera to set up because obviously we're using them all. <laughs> so, um, I don't know. Yeah. I, I don't know. I, I could have sworn at least two, three times with my eyes. Yeah. I thought I seen the rocking chair move like very, very slightly, but slightly. Well, let's see if we can try to get it to move. Is there uh, somebody in here that wants to move that? Somebody sitting in the chair? Steven. 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 You know, what's weird. We've been getting that name a lot. Steven. Yeah. Uh, That's like, have we? Yeah. I don't remember the last few investigations that oh. we've done. We've been getting that quite a bit. So when I first started, yeah, I got the name Violet. Violet. Okay. And then I asked if Violet was a prisoner here. And then okay. the it literally said prisoner. Oh, like wow. right after. Huh. So, and then she wanted me to stay and talk. Okay. Well, <laughs> should we stay here or? I, I don't know. Did you hear that knock? I did. I was in the warden's um, office there for a little bit too. Okay. Yeah, I'm uh, good. Oh, damn it. Is the yeah. uh, warden of the prison or the jail here? We have power. We have power? Okay. Okay. We have power too. We have batteries. <laughs> what, the? what was that? I don't know. We have power too, we have batteries. You think that was in that room? It sounded like it was in that room. So I have the other camera recording in there just in case that chair moves again. It kind of sounded like a chair, kind of like, I mean, we'll have to review the footage to yeah. know, but. Were you just in this room? Here's slight footsteps. Yeah. Okay. That's why I turned my head. Cause I'm like trying to pick it out, trying to hear a little bit. Okay. What was that? Oh, it sounded like in here. Yeah. Wow. That is the weirdest I've ever heard that thing say. Yes, that's before. right. What the? What do you mean? So that was you? It's so weird. If you're upstairs, make a sound. Got really cold in here. Too. It's okay. I was just going to say that. You beat me to it. And it's interesting too, because since we've gotten in here, it's been warm, like really warm. Yeah. I've been actually, yeah. I started sweating at one point to be honest. I was almost ready to get naked to be honest. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh. Oh, Someone up there. We'll give it another few minutes down here and see if we can Hear some stuff. get something. Yeah. I mean, I've, like I said, I've had a little bit of, um, activity, so yeah, it's, well, it's that not... was a lot. That was, that was something insane. Um, <coughs> I'm also thinking of maybe heading over there and then maybe we'll come back here. Yeah. Maybe leave that camera else. on the chair. Yeah. See if that chair starts rocking. Whatever it is, it seems like it's messing with us now. Now it's so, having fun with us. Yeah. You know what it, this just said? Bored. Oh, okay. So you're bored of us. I see. No, I think they're Bo bored from being here. So Maybe, they're playing yeah. games, like you said. Well, are you stuck here? Are you having a hard time leaving? 
I know this must have been probably a pretty boring place. I mean, what are you really going to do? I don't know, I feel like attracted to this room all of a sudden. Yeah, I just, you know what? I felt really nervous for some reason. Is, I started getting but... really, really nervous in there. And then once I realized all the yeah. child, I don't think there were children here. I don't think so either. Unless maybe the warden maybe brought their child at some point or another. I mean, maybe. <sighs> but don't you feel weird? That's exactly where I was sitting. I feel really weird, especially with all the mirrors surrounding me. Okay, you. I'm glad you said that. Because I said the exact same thing. Especially in this particular spot too. I don't know. It's yep. just a, it's very strong vibe. And you're targeted by every mirror in that yeah. one spot. It's a very strong, I don't know. I don't even know how to describe it. If you're in here, give us a sign. Make the chair move. Maybe you can make the phone ring. That would be creepy considering it's not hooked up at all. <laughs> That's old. It's even mm -hmm. broken, I think. Oh yeah, look at that. Is this authentic? I think so. I think that's the real deal. Must be. Hello? Grandfather. That's this the is the second, second time, time I said that. Yeah, second time. Is there somebody's grandfather here? Is that what you're trying to tell us? Very possible. Uh, definitely a guarantee. Somebody's grandpa must have been here at some point. Oh, now I'm looking at the list. I could have sworn it said grandfather twice. It said granddad? You could say granddad, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Granddad and then grandfather. Well, you've been very good to us tonight. Emotional. You scared the bejeebers out of me. Uh, and it said emotional. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you emotional? See, don't you feel antsy sitting there? Yeah. I feel, I, I was just like, it's like a sense of panic. I feel like panic. it's hard to breathe. Yeah, like a sense of panic. Yeah. It's just not anxiety. Really panic. I'm not panicking per se, but I just feel like it's heavy. It's hard to breathe for some reason. I mean, I have no issues anywhere else in this building. Yeah. <clears throat> there's, definitely, quiet. there's definitely something in here. It just told you to be quiet. Why are we being quiet? Are you going to do something? Why don't you sing like you did the last time he was here? You're the ocean? <laughs> nothing. Not even the ocean. Like a conch cell? <laughs> Not, no, nothing. Nothing? Nothing at all. <laughs> where are you in the building? Tell us where you are. I was curious about that too, actually. <laughs> if you're there, make that go off. What was that? What? The sh oh. My, oh, was, oh, my finger. Spirit. Holy Spirit. I like that one. I'm very happy to hear that one. Were you Christian or Catholic? Stone. Stone? Stone. What do you mean by that? Wait. What? There's a stone. No way. Yeah, right there. What the hell? Yeah, that is a stone. Is that right? a stone? Yeah, that's a that's stone. A gigantic stone. There's two of them actually. There's Ooh. one there and there's what one there. What do you be stones? I, I, <sighs> do they have any purpose? Like, is it I supporting don't know. anything? Uh, I don't know. No, they're just there. They're just there for some reason. Wait, did you just hear that? Yeah, I did. Was that a bell? What the hell? 
Was that uh, that bell? I, I, uh, there's two. What the hell? That's that the one. one. Keep walking. <laughs> Keep. Whoa. Do you want us to go upstairs? Is that what you want us to do? I legit just heard something walking. And the thing just said, the thing said keep walking, right? Yeah, and now leg. Okay. Holy crap. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we heard that bell, it says keep walking. You hear walking. I don't know if we're supposed to go upstairs or stay down here, I don't know what to do. Want to make a noise? Maybe guide us in the direct. Oh, well, I guess that bell would have been guiding us in the right yeah. direction. Maybe we're supposed to go back upstairs for some reason. Mm -hmm. All right, well, we're going upstairs. I don't know if this is the way you want us to go, but. Are you going to smash another? Sell? Oh god, please don't. Please do. I mean, that was scary as all hell, but... That's my point exactly. Dude, I had literally nowhere to go. <laughs> I mean, you could've ran downstairs. <sighs> Where were you when that happened? I happened? was like... Right it said here. Dare. I heard something move back there, so I started coming this way. Well, first I walked into there. Right. Now, as soon as I went in there, the freaking REM pod, that loud one went off, it's okay. came back here, and all of a sudden there was a door slamming on that side and I was just like right here so I didn't know what to do <laughs> you're, you're explaining yourself with the thing uh, yeah. about the banging and it said dare and invoke oh that's a little uh that's interesting so uh, yes we dare you to slam the door again yeah please do Ouch. damn it that hurt. <laughs> it's a uh, very narrow and yeah I just smashed Whoa. my shoulder I thought I saw somebody on there like on the toilet? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> cool. Anything on there? That no. Came out? Nothing, eh? Oh, now we wow. Have to as soon as I. Mission. What is your mission? That is the only word this thing has said in half an hour. It said nothing while you were up here? It said nothing. There's no past words on it. And you're at maximum sensitivity. Demonstrate. Demonstrate. What are you going to demonstrate? So you said, what's your mission mm -hmm. from that? And now it said demonstrate. So demonstrate. I thought I heard something. And I also can't figure out what cell door it is because there's three... That one's missing a door. And this one's the most closed. Elevator. There is, is there somebody in this cell? Because I literally just saw what I'm sure was somebody taking a poop. I swear, like I looked and I just saw somebody look like they were sitting there like this. What the hell? Did you hear that? Yeah, that wasn't you? No. No. Hmm. You heard the hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. I, thought, I thought it was you at first. No. Something just. Like, Are you reacting to what I saw? It sounded like a female voice. Kind of, yeah. Which is that side. Yeah. Are you in there? Switch it back to uh, the letter one. The letters, yeah. Just got V. H. H. V. And the first line I got. One. I got Violet downstairs for a name. Oh, really? That was the first that was name the I first got. the first letter that came up. Joyce. Joyce? 
Wow, we're asking for names, and here we go. Who was WTWT? You gave us those letters before. What was that supposed to mean? I got R, which I think was the first initial of the warden's last name? Uh -huh. I have to double check, but it says it downstairs. Are you here, yes or no, on this side? I feel really weird again up here. Yeah, I feel a little dizzy to be honest. I was just about to say that. I feel like almost like I'm... Swaying? Yeah. That's, that's kind of how I feel right now too. That's weird that we both have that same feeling. Why? Can we not come in there? Do nothing? Use this device in my hand, yes or no? Can we come in or not? It did the same thing last time too, when you were downstairs. I really? walked in there, then I backed out, and then I heard something down there. And then did it go off again? No. No? No. So it just doesn't want you to enter? May I enter? What the hell? Yes? Okay. All right. Sound. Sound. So far so good. How? Sound? Yeah. Is it cool if I enter too? Oh, it's okay. I guess it's okay. I guess it's okay. Okay. Cool. Oh, I still have your cigarette here. Did you put it on there? Yeah. Oh, okay. That was me. Did you... S I don't even know, like, how would they smoke in the afterlife? It's <laughs> uh. <laughs> a good question, actually. Well, this might be the last time you see me for a while, so I wanted to say goodbye. It's so weird. Yeah. What the hell was that? I don't know. Did you hear that? Yeah. I don't know if that was from outside or uh, it sounded like a, like a squeaky. Yeah, yeah. Was that you trying to speak? Oh, I'm getting severe finger cramps. <laughs> well, smash that like button for Frank's finger. Oh. Nothing else? Like, dude, like, not even one other thing? Yeah, even the Spirit Talker stopped. Yeah, they both simultaneously just went completely dead all of a sudden. Jason. Uh -huh. yeah. Jason. That makes me think of Friday the 13th. <clears throat> Were you a fan of Friday the 13th? Just a random thought, random question. Okay, well, let's get, whoa. I like the toys. Did you just say I like the toys? I don't know. I like the toys, yeah. Wow. Which toys are you referring to? So that goes off and then it says I like the toys. Huh. What the hell? I just heard something downstairs. Did you? Yeah, like almost like a whisper. Oh. Or like a. Hang on. I just want to hear my name. Your name? Yeah. Like Fran. But like from down that way. Okay. Well, maybe they're trying to lead you somewhere, which is oh, kind of Great. I get to be led somewhere. Strange. Oh, okay. Wish I brought my flashlight, but wait, didn't I bring my flashlight? I did you? I swear I did. One. Okay. I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but. Have you had any K2 spikes while you're up here at all? No, no. That thing Nothing? Is, hasn't gone off at all tonight. I mean, REM pods, yeah, pretty much two of the three all went off. Um, but apart from that...
Don't tell me I just said. It said six and then F. U. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh my. W. Seven. Why all of a sudden once we okay, get here so it starts going off? I want to inform you that. We got six earlier. Yeah, we did. I got six downstairs. Yes. And now just, you got six again. That's six, six, six. And it just said yes. Oh my God. Yes. And it just said yes, yes. again. So six, six, six. No. That's the devil's numbers. Four. I'll take four over six. Me. Why all of a sudden do you want to start talking now as we're leaving? What does it say? N. Goodbye. Huh? Wow. What did it say? Seven. Dude, how did it even get a word? It said goodbye? It said a word. I'm not even in library mode. It's only supposed it to give goodbye. us letters and numbers. I literally said, why are you talking as we're leaving? And it says goodbye. No. I don't know if it's supposed to do that, but... And now it said forward? G. Wow. Okay, these are correlating, eh? What the hell? Goodbye. It just said goodbye again. Goodbye, you. Six. Oh my god. No. This is weird. What is happening to this? W. The bat. The, the battery is going from half. No. What the heck? You getting battery drain? Yeah. One. Look, you can. You're. I'm actively seeing it on the screen now. It's fine. Just give it a second. I might do it again. Can you see that? Yeah. It's going half. To like oh, wow. dead, half to dead. It's, yes. I don't know what the hell is happening right now. Okay. It's manifesting, man. It's just, it just said oh six my God. again. And it just said we're here. Okay, well, we gotta, I don't know who's saying goodbye, but it's been a pleasure up here. Um, what? We're going to go to the other cell block outside. If you want to join us, feel free. That'd be cool. But, um, yeah, that's crazy. It said goodbye like two or three times in and a row you. on here. Goodbye, you. Yeah. At one point, somebody said F you, but. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Yeah, that's, that is pretty funny. I'll take it, though. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to head outside. Thank you so much for, uh, you know, spending the evening with us. Um, next time, I'll bring some spicy pickles. Yeah. How about that from the Fickle Pickle? Cause and more some, cigarettes. And more cigarettes for you. Okay guys, so uh, kind of thought about it and um, it is getting a little bit late. Um, we're gonna do like a small little thing probably in the building off to the side. Uh, reason is because we have a long day tomorrow and uh, we got about an hour and a half to an hour and 45 minute drive back to the hotel. So we gotta end this pretty much now. Um, I think we got a lot anyways. I don't oh, really tons. think- Yeah, I don't really think there's any reason to kind of push this series because we got so much incredible uh, evidence to say the least. The one thing I did want to mention is that the one REM pod that is super loud, the thing I was thinking about is that maybe there is a possibility. I don't know. This is just us trying to be speculation. At yeah, this we're point. just speculating. We don't know. We don't know if that REM pod specifically was reacting to us walking in and out of the rooms um, or maybe that there's some sort of like ground or current upstairs that has something to do with the ground, with the floor. I and it's seen. concrete, so it's kind of hard to determine that. Yeah, we can't exactly figure it out because, I mean, the things were sitting on top of metal tables and then every time we would step in, literally would put our foot down on the ground, the thing would go off. Or maybe there was something actually there that was intelligent and reacting to the fact that we were walking in there. Yeah, because at that last part that we did where we went back into the female mm -hmm. section, we walked by that thing and nothing happened. That was that's my point, right? Nothing so at all. We can't determine a hundred percent whether that was yes or no. Um, but the other stuff, no freaking explanation. Oh yeah. So slamming and the bells dinging and all the other the other red pop was going absolutely yep. nuts on command. Yep. And if there was some, I mean, there was no way that there was anything reacting to us walking with those ones in particular because. We weren't moving. No, we were just speaking. Yeah, and we it were literally react. just asking questions and it was reacting to what we were asking. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much where we're gonna end off this series. Um, I don't know what's next exactly. There is something specific that I do wanna do here in Texas that is a haunted location. Um, so we will probably 
do that in the next episode. I have no idea. I don't really know the schedule as of yet. Uh, my brain scheduled everything up until Austin, and then now we're pretty much figure it out. Kind of, yeah, <laughs> we're, just, we're just going with the motions at this point. Um, but yeah, we're gonna probably be in the U.S. for another like two, three weeks. So there's gonna be a lot of freaking content for you guys. But um, yeah, appreciate your support. Hope you guys enjoyed the series. If you did, smash the like button. If you didn't, smash the dislike button twice. Make sure you click it once and then click it again. Um, just for <laughs> good measure, of course. Subscribe if you're new. Go and, of course, follow Frank. Uh, support him on his channel because he's going to start uploading his own stuff very, very soon. And um, that's pretty much it. We'll see you in the next one. Love you. Bye-bye.